Hi, YouTube. This is Angie the Antitheist. A couple of times this week, I heard a response which I find laughing, laughably uncompelling, uh, but I'll respond anyway. What I'm hearing from Christians is that the disciples died for their beliefs uh, in Jesus and, and the miracle claims, and that that is therefore evidence that those claims are true. Um, this ignores a incredibly well-known universal truth about humanity, and that is that we can be deceived. Now, you know this. Uh, you, you know that people can be misled. For example, you probably think that I'm deceived. After all, the fool says in her heart. There is no God, right? And we know that people can believe things not even related to God, but people can believe things which are later known to be demonstrably false. Think of convictions which are later overturned due to DNA evidence. People believed strongly that that person was guilty. Think of the run-up to the Iraq war. The American people were deceived into believing that there were weapons of mass destruction in Iraq and that Saddam Hussein had something to do with 9-11, which are both demonstrably known now to be false. But people can be deceived. And surely you must think that people die for beliefs that they think are true that you don't think are true. I mean, a suicide bomber for Islam with a bomb strapped to his chest. I mean, he's dying for what he believes, just like the apostles, just like the disciples. Doesn't that mean that what he believes is true or what she believes is true? Oh no, it, it doesn't. It, it only applies to your God. Special pleading, is that it? And let me continue because they're not the only ones. Um, let's see, there are the Heaven's Gate uh, cult, uh, Marshall Applewhite's group that believed they were going to hitch a ride off of Earth when the hale Comet flew by. They put on their matching Nikes, the men castrated themselves, and they all took poison and killed themselves together in a suicide hitch on a comet. I don't know exactly how it was supposed to work, but how it did work was that there were a whole bunch of dead bodies. They died for what they believed in. Doesn't that mean that what they believed was true? Do you believe that their souls are now flying around on the hale Bop comet? Or do you think they were deceived? Think of uh, Jim Jones and the People's Temple. Hundreds of people in a mass suicide, including children. Drinking the Kool-Aid comes from that moment, although in Kool-Aid's defense, it was a generic. People can be deceived. You know this. This is a no-brainer. Just people can be, receive, be deceived about God issues to the extent that they would die for something that they believed that still also happens to not be true. You believe that whole scenario when I'm talking about Islam, right? So why can't you get that I think that way about you? Or why can't you think that way about Christianity? You don't have any better evidence or credibility for your preposterous claims. Um, so that's this short video. I hope everybody on YouTube has a great and godless day. Take care. Peace.